guys, welcome back, welcome to another episode of High Voltage. And today I will do the Saturday Dr. Terror run. And I've loaded up Warriors. And I've now finally maxed out all my landing crafts. And it's so nice because I now have 64 Warriors. Um, and that will make a huge difference. And I haven't boosted any statues so far, and I've already reached Dr. Terror 19. But I think I will boost one statue now, um, the Magma, uh, the Troop Damage Masterpiece. And I hope that will be enough to boost only one statue. Um, because the less statues I boost, the more crystals I will gain. And as I've already maxed out all the key defensive structures and the landing crafts, I won't need any more resources, just crystals. So in any way, let's jump to Dr. Terror and scout him. And uh, it is again very funny because as you can see, um, the, doctor, the, the volcano base is located up left in the top. And the right side is um, completely free of uh, defensive buildings. And there are only some support buildings which I can actually pick up. And then I will use my standard approach and flare around the top to one of the sniper towers and then approach the base. And let's see if I have to clear any mines at all. I'm not too sure, but it looks like I don't have to clear any mines, uh, which is very nice. And the next thing is when I reach the volcano base, um, let's check which buildings I want to shock. And the thing is, um, I think I want to shock the flamethrowers, that's for sure I need to shock them. But the question is, how do I do that? And I think I will toss one shock on the sniper tower here in the hopes that I get the mortar, the two flamethrowers, the sniper tower and the machine gun. And I will toss one shock on that machine gun here in the hopes that I get the flamethrower, the machine gun, the mortars and the boom cannon. And I will toss one uh, shock on the shock launcher. And that's very important. And then I think it should be fine. And if my warriors take a little bit too long, I will toss another shock on the shock launcher and work with mad kids. And I think that should be fine. So let's attack and see how that goes. But I'm pretty confident we will take it down right now. So let's land the warriors. And I hope that the warriors don't run to the left side, but stick to the right side, which is very important. And it's looking like only one warrior is spreading out to the left, but that's all right. I can live with that. I will now flat him up there and take out one more building and then I will flare to the sniper tower. And I really have to make sure that I don't uh, don't get sloppy here now. So there we go. And now let's start to smoke up that thing here. And I think I will need another smoke there. And yep, now it's looking actually good. I'm coming, I'm coming in from a good angle and the warriors are actually running nicely. So there we go. And I think, yeah, <clears throat> that worked very well. One more smoke, one more flare, one more smoke, and there we go. I think I got my warriors there in one piece. And it is looking actually pretty good. And I will soon be ready to shock one, two, three. Mad kit, mad kit. I think I tossed only one. Yeah, there we go. I think I will toss a third mad kit, and now I will take out one economy building there and there we go dr terror stage 19 goes down easily and i think i didn't lose too many warriors it's actually looking pretty good guys let's see oh yeah nice 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 i think i got two crystals didn't i no only one crystal okay uh but i lost only seven warriors and i got one shot and three fragments plus one intel which is very nice and that actually worked very very well and i've boosted only one statue and now let's reload the troops and jump to Dr. Terror stage 20. So let's see what he got for us. Um, I think, yeah, this is looking very weird, guys. This is really looking very, very weird. And it is <clears throat> actually looking extremely hooker friendly. But I will first try to do it with warriors before I switch to hookers and only if I fail with warriors. And I really want to try something here. And um, yeah, I think I will go over the left side and I will um, flare freely and I will see how that works. Let's attack. And I think I need a smoke in the beginning for the flamethrower, but besides that, I should be fine. And I will flare in that corner here and immediately land my troops. And there we go. One smoke, two smokes, I think. Yeah, that is necessary. A lot of troops are already getting picked up. This is not looking good at all. I need another smoke and now flare them up over there. 
And guys, this is not working at all, I think. I'm not too sure. We will see in a second. I will deploy more smokes now. And now I flare to the sniper tower and see how that goes. And obviously my warriors will run through a boom mine. But it looks like I got a major part of my warriors um, to the sniper tower amazingly. And now I flare to the headquarters and I definitely need a medkit now. And um, due to all the flaring I obviously ran out of gunboat energy which is very unfortunate. So we'll use one artillery shell here and get back one medkit now I want and we will I get a shock. Uh, that is very that is very nice i can use that shock and let's see how that goes the warriors are working the headquarters and it's looking not good at all but it's actually not looking too bad at all and i think dr terror stage 20 is going down with only one stage you boosted with this very very weird approach of mine and amazing surprisingly surprisingly enough dr terror stage 20 goes down with this very very weird approach that was very messy in the beginning but apparently it worked um, totally amazing, totally surprising. I can't really uh, believe that that worked again, but it did. Um, I lost 49 warriors, but um, yeah, I expected to lose them all, so okay. And I got two crystals and I got uh, three guaranteed crystals on stage 19 and stage 20, plus all the other crystals, fragments and shards before. And I only used one, one power powder to boost the magma masterpiece, so that was um, maximum maximum exploitation of Dr. Terror today or almost maximum exploitation. Maximum exploitation would be if I haven't used any power powders, but I did use one, so that's that. But then again, um, really good performance, I think. And a uh, very funny approach once again. And the warriors really, really do very well against volcano bases if you uh, flare them around uh, the side. And I will now switch back to um, heavies and sukas because I will soon do the operation attack. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed that quick Dr. Turan, guys, and enjoy your Saturday. And yeah, ah, by the way, I think I can now upgrade. Yeah, I will. Ah, this is, you know, guys, I hate to instant, instant finish those cheap little buildings, but I think here, there we go, I should do it because I can now um, upgrade the flamethrower to level 16. And since I trashed my resource reward masterpiece, uh, I better I better leverage the loot I got right now and I don't know if you heard but um, Dr. Terror will actually be changed. Um, Supercell is planning a big update where they uh, uh, plan to change the event schedule and um, right now I'm not really sure what to think about it. We will see very soon. Uh, see very soon. And so that may have been the last Dr. Terror uh, volcano base on our Saturday in like forever so i really hope that won't be the case and they won't change it up too much because dr terror is like the backbone of boom beach but yeah in any way uh, we will see and stay tuned for more guys and enjoy your saturday and see you soon